Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but I really hope you enjoy it. Today is a memory video. So let's get started with DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to make this beautiful heart wreath with handmade roses. So I'm going to use the top of this ribbon spool to trace out some circles on a cereal box, and then I'm going to cut these circles out. Then I'm going to take a ribbon of my choice this one came from Michaels on clearance and I'm going to tie a knot and once my knot is tied I'm going to add a little bit of glue to get it to lay the way I want it to lay and I'm going to begin to twist and I'm going to begin to wrap that ribbon around so there's really no right or wrong way to do this I've tried several different ways they all end up looking really pretty just as long as you have a center and just go around it so as I go around I'm just adding little tiny dabs of hot glue here and there so I am just using Gorilla hot glue it works well for me and then once I get it started I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it onto my circle cardboard piece and I'm going to continue twisting and wrapping all the way around until I get this flower to a size that I like. Once I get it to a size that I like, I can just trim off the end and if necessary, I can tuck it under or under the cardboard. And then with any excess cardboard, I can just go ahead and trim that off. Then I have a really cute stable flower. Now, if you're going to be popping this onto a hard surface, you don't necessarily need the cardboard, but I do like like to do this for a wreath or something like that so here's how I did this one and I just took a couple of Dolly Tree pearls and pop them in there now the reason I call this a memory craft is because today's video is a memory of my mom she inspired me to start my YouTube channel and it's been almost a year since I've started it this May 3rd will be the second year of my mom's angel anniversary when she went to heaven. Um, and so I'm just kind of celebrating a couple different things with this video. My mom loved shabby chic. It was her style of shabby chic, Victorian. Um, she actually left me a bunch of scrapbooking stuff and little doodads um, that I haven't been able to bring myself to use. So in today's video, I'm going to be using them. So this wreath is in memory of her because it's something that I know she would have loved. She loved lace. She loves flowers. So for this flower, I put some of that pretty ribbon along with a piece of lace. And I just continued the same process, but with both ribbons. And then there will be another gorgeous flower. So I'm going to take this opportunity to thank you so much for stopping by today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you have... You are my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. We have so much good stuff coming up. You will not want to miss. So make sure that you hit that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. Also, one last thing, if you could hit that thumbs up, it really helps your girl out here on YouTube. So here I'm showing you another flower and this one is actually just made with ribbon. You can use any wired Dollar Tree ribbon and do the same thing, just twisting. Now to begin our wreath, I'm just taking a Dollar Tree heart wreath form and some extra ribbon I had in my stash. This came from Dollar General after Christmas. I got it for $2. So I'm just, well, $2 and then like 75% off. So it, it was originally $2. My goodness. Okay. So now once I get my wreath form all wrapped up and I did have to use a little bit of a different ribbon there on the side, but it ended up being a blessing and I love it. So here we go with that flip that back over this is what it looks like and then I'm going to take some of that beautiful Dolly Tree lace crochet ribbon and I'm just going to wrap a few little stripes there at the top opposite the lighter colored ribbon on the bottom so it contrasts and just looks really cute but once I come to the end I'll just go ahead and tack it down with some hot glue on the back but I absolutely love the contrast and think it's really pretty now it's time to arrange our cute little flowers up there um, on the top of the heart so I'm just kind of figuring out how I want them and how they lay nicely and then I'm just putting some hot glue on the back of that cardboard there and tacking them on who knew these gorgeous flowers are 
tart cereal box, you guys. It's amazing what you can do when you get creative. So now I'm just going to use that lighter colored ribbon and go ahead and just create a little bow with one loop on either side. Then some more of that pretty lace, lacy kind of creamish um, ribbon will go on top of the middle, which will be that pretty pinkish orangish peach. I don't even really know what to call that color, but I really love it. So here's my three stack ribbon. I'm going to tie it tightly in the middle and then wrap some more lace around it just to make it look super, super pretty. Oops, I thought I wrapped some lace around it. I just wrapped some of that um, light khaki colored um, ribbon around it. So there is my bow, but you can do it any way you like it. This craft is so customizable with whatever color that you like, um, whatever color scheme you are going for. You could use pink pearls and light pinks or blues or purples, anything you like. So then I'm just taking some more of these little pearls and just tucking them here and there around my little flowers and around my bow. And here is what it looks like. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I know that my mom would have squealed if she saw it. So this is for her. So here we go. Just a final look at it. It's so pretty and it was so easy to make. All right, let's move along to DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm going to create this gorgeous family sign with a bunch of Dollar Tree items and some of my mom's scrapbooking items. So I'm taking these two long Dollar Tree signs. They were for Valentine's Day, but Dollar Tree has them for several different seasons. I placed them together with some Gorilla Glue, but you can use any kind of glue that you like. I paint them with my Waverly Plaster Chuck Paint. Now I have a family sign from Dollar Tree and two hearts that came on a hanging sign from Dollar Tree. I also have two scrapbook papers that I like and a glue stick. So I'm going to lay my family sign down on this pretty floral scrapbook paper and I'm going to trace around. And then once I am done with that, I am going to carefully cut out this scrapbook paper. I use the little pink scissors from Dollar Tree. They're awesome detail scissors and I just cut it all the way out. I think people call it a fussy cut when I'm just going in and cutting all every little part and it really didn't take that long. And then I'm just going to use this glue stick all over the front of, I almost said all over the front of my family, but that's kind of weird, all over the front of the family sign. <laughs> and then I'm going to place this scrapbook paper down. You can Mod Podge over top of that if you like I did so then I take these two little hearts that again came from a hanging sign from Dollar Tree I think it had six hearts on it and I'm going to trace them on a coordinating scrap of paper cut them out and then I'm just going to use my glue stick to attach those to the cardboard side of these hearts and I will Mod Podge over them as well. I'm not sure if I show that or not, but Mod Podge is awesome for sealing things and being able to dust them and things like that. Or if you have several children like I do that make messes or kind of spill stuff and splash stuff, you can just go ahead and wipe things off once it is Mod Podged. So here I'm just cutting around the little ridges of the heart to give it a nice finish. And I actually use this Dollar Tree sanding block to kind of go ahead and finish up my edges as well. So now that that is done, I'm just gonna lay everything out. So I go ahead and glue my hearts down, one on either side, and I'm very careful to make sure that they're not going to interfere with how my sign stands because I want this to be able to stand on an end table to create a vignette. So now I'll glue down the family <laughs> and I will place it between those two hearts and press it down. You can use any adhesive you like. I just use this um, Gorilla Glue. Sorry about that little noise a second ago. My kids are downstairs and they can be a little bit rowdy, but <laughs> they're boys and boys will be rowdy. So I've gotten used to it. I do try and keep it as quiet as I can though for my voiceovers. Okay, now I'm taking a little bit of antique wax and I'm just brushing it very, very lightly. It's called a dry brush when your brush barely has anything on it and you're just lightly going back and forth. And that is what I do. Okay, and I do show you the mod podging. I just put it on a Dollar Tree spongy brush and I just go over everything to make sure that again, it's sealed and it is protected and then I'm going to go ahead 
and just make sure everything is nice. Now I'm going to take some adorable little teeny tiny flowers that I found in a little container that my mom had. I know these are for scrapbooking. They have little, um, little pieces on the back where you can attach them to paper crafts, but I'm going to go ahead and place a few um, on each heart. And so if you want to find these hearts, you can just look at probably any craft store and you'll find things like this in the scrapbooking section. So I'm just, again, placing some different sizes on each heart and just kind of getting it to the way that I like it. I believe I do about five on each heart. And then that is it. So here is the sign. It was very inexpensive expensive to make only about three and a half dollars not even and I just think it is so so pretty and a nice big decor piece for a vignette or a bookshelf this is a bookshelf that I have it on and I really hope that you guys like this again very customizable to your color and to your style it's time for DIY number three this one is easy but so cute. I found this family sign at Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead. It's so cute how it stands up. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to give the family a coat of my Waverly Ballet Slipper Chalk Paint with a tiny little brush so I can pay attention to detail. So I'm just doing that, just going over it really carefully. Um, and it only takes one coat to give this a nice, pretty pink look. Then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to paint my smaller heart again with that same color, the ballet slipper. And I'm just going to be kind of careful to define that larger heart there. I just went around and made sure that I didn't lose its shape. And then I'm going to take this beautiful beaded garland from the Dollar Tree. There is a pink and kind of a cream color one. And I'm just going to double over the pink one. And I'm going to use tiny dabs of hot glue on the bigger beads to go ahead and tack them down around this larger colored white heart until I get to the bottom and then I will just trim off the excess and then on the pink heart I'm going to go ahead and use my cream beaded garland and just wrap that around and tack it down and cut off any excess and I think it is so cute how this contrasts um you have to hold your bead into the glue for a second to get it to stay but once it dries you have a nice firm hold and that all works out really well so here's what i was talking about when you get to the bottom just trimming off the excess and then i just kind of squeeze them together a little bit with a tiny dab of that glue so here is what that looks like and then here is where i'm doing the part with the cream one same process so like i said the only two colors i found was the pink and the cream but they are really really pretty and here's what that looks like so then i'm going to go ahead and put some waverly antique wax on my brush and go ahead and dry brush over the word family and then i dry brush around the edges of the little hearts um just to give them a little bit of this distressed look this is totally optional if that is not the look that you prefer and here is what it looks like with one of our other crafts that we're creating today. You can put pictures in there or scrapbook paper, whatever you like, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And here it is styled a little vignette. Okay, DIY number four and my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I made these flowers and put them in a jar with a tray. So I'm starting out with a Dollar Tree tray and this jar is from the Dollar General. Dollar Tree sells things similar but I got this one at Dollar General for a dollar I believe and I'm going to pull off all of the embellishments and then I'm going to go ahead and paint my platter um, or tray with my Waverly plaster chalk paint and then I'm going to paint 
decorate this jar with my Waverly Ballet slipper. And I'm careful to not paint the top of the jar. I know it's going to be covered up anyway, so that's why I didn't tape it off. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little piece of a ribbon around the top of my jar using some hot glue to tack it down on either side of the back. And then I want to glue it to this tray. So I'm going to take a few Django blocks that I had already glued together for a previous project. It really doesn't matter how many. I think I used about seven. And I just glue them to the back of my jar so that it will sit nicely in there and um, it will fit to the sides and it stands up a little bit um, to give kind of a 3D appearance and this actually works out really well if it's perfectly. Then I'm just going to take a two other jingle blocks and go ahead and slide them down under the top. They don't go all the way down but that is fine because they will be covered up with the beautiful florals that we are about to create. So here I'm just going to show you a variety of ribbons, Dollar Tree ribbon, um, some thrift store ribbon, what's that lace ribbon, um, some Dollar General ribbon, I have some Michaels ribbon, just whatever I found in my stash I thought I might want to use, I brought out. I also brought out this little bead of garland and this was my mom's, this little tray that had all of her little trinkets and beads and things in it. And then just some lace fabric that I had on hand, some Dollar Tree hearts and pearls. Um, so here's some ideas of things you can use. I had scissors, detailing scissors, and my rotary cutter handy as well as some extra glue. So I'm starting just with this um, plain ribbon and what I'm doing is tying a knot. Um, fairly similar to the flowers we have already made. I'm just going to show you a few different ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot. Please be careful of your fingers or wear finger protectors. I am going to use the top of this little ribbon spool and yes I left the Goodwill sticker on <laughs> and you cannot see it so it's okay. So I'm going to do the same process with the twisting and tacking down with the hot glue and just folding around and then once I get it done to the point where I am happy with it I'll just trim off any excess of that little cardboard piece there. So here I am just winding and twisting. These are so easy and they're so fun to make. I really had a blast creating these and I know that my mom would have absolutely loved something like this. She was um, more of a paper crafter and she was into miniatures. She liked to create like scenes with miniatures and she had a gorgeous dollhouse that was totally decked out. Um, my son has it now but so but I know she would have absolutely loved something like this. So I'm just making this a fairly large flower here just going round and round and I'm going to use this tiny little detailing scissors from Dollar Tree to just kind of go in and snip off those little um, flyaways that are kind of sticking out. Burlap tends to fray quite a bit so it's always handy to go ahead and give it a little teeny tiny haircut there. So now once I whoop, here we go with a little haircut and cutting off any excess of the cardboard. You don't want that to show. And then I'm going to go ahead with a little piece of Dollar Tree lace. I'm going to tie a knot in it and just kind of create a little bunch with that knot and then go around a couple of times gluing down just to kind of give this pretty little flower a center and I'm going to kind of give this um, kind of like a swirled effect so I'm just kind of going in between the folds and around this flower if that makes sense. You can do so many different things with this. You could just leave it in the center. Um, you could go around and around. You could just do the outside of the flower. Um, whatever you like. You could do whatever um, you think looks pretty. Whatever color combination you have. I also sometimes like to glue the lace to my ribbon so that it's like right on top of it and that way it's kind of like a peekaboo look. So whatever you think, whatever works. So here I'm following the same steps, just tacking down the end and then if I have any excess, I will go ahead and trim that excess with my scissor. So you guys, if you have made it this far, <laughs> you are absolutely amazing. I don't usually do my videos this long, but this one is a special one and I really wanted to get into detail and explain how I made these because like I said, they were so fun and if you have a loved one and you maybe have some um, 
old clothes from them or old belongings, old jewelry. You can, you know, use those clothes if you're not using them for anything else. And you can take scraps and make flowers out of them. Um, you can use the jewelry to decorate your flowers. So there's just some ideas for you for memory keepsakes. Now, that last flower that we did, I did go ahead and pop a little um, Dollar Tree pearl in the middle. So now I'm just creating a flower with this beautiful pink lace that I had. I just went ahead and cut a, me a messy cut, a strip, and I'm just wrapping it around. I actually purchased this beautiful pink lace at a yard sale. So <laughs> I've been using it a little bit, a little bit every um so often for about a year just taking pieces off and so here we go just doing the same thing wind around and trim off this one comes out super adorable i really like it because the lace is like a tighter knit fabric um it twists up really really well but again if you wanted to put twine beside it and roll them both together that would look really nice now i'm just taking a little um pearly type thing that my mom had in her little box and then I'm just trying to see how I want to embellish the outside. I had thought about going around with this little strip of pearls that she had, but I decided no. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim off um, whatever cardboard is showing. And then, of course, if any of my ribbon is sticking out where it is not supposed to be, I will trim that off as well. Here we had a little sticking out part. So now I'm just going to go ahead and arrange my flowers. This flower um, that you see me putting down right now is made from the um, Dollar Tree burlap. I just kind of looped that around, kind of um, leaving it a little bit loose so it's a big fluffy flower. I think that one is really pretty. So here I'm just figuring out exactly how I want them, tacking them down. Um, those little jangle blocks that I put there do come in handy to keep things elevated so the one in the middle kind of sinks down and then I have one on either side kind of giving it a 3d appearance I got another large one there at the top I'm going to put a um, teeny tiny lace ones that I made out of that lace I got from Goodwill um, I'm just trying to figure out I don't want it to look like a square arrangement but I don't have a lot of space so I'm just trying to go ahead and figure out a way to to make it look pretty and flowing and not square if that makes sense um and just really nice at the top so here i am doing that and at this point i realized i needed a couple more flowers so i went ahead and made another lace flower another ribbon flower and i think that this looks pretty i didn't want any flowers hanging off the edge um, i was concerned about like the shape that my flowers were making but i didn't want them hanging off the edge so this is what i came up with and i think it looks really nice and now i'm going to go ahead Head and just glue some tails on and then a little bow that I made with Dollar Tree ribbon and I just went around the middle with a piece of Dollar Tree trim and then I'm just going to take that little strip of pearls that I had out earlier from my mom's stash and I'm just going to glue it around my bow just to be the finishing touch on this beautiful piece and then I just decided that it needed a little um, antique wax dry brushing so after I cut the ends of my ribbon to a dovetail I'll go ahead and put some antique wax on a brush and I will go ahead and go around the whole edge of the um, tray that is underneath just lightly going over those little bumps so that they show and give them some definition and I just think that looks really really nice gives a little dimension and design and then I'll just lightly go around the edges of that jar there and just a tiny bit on the top of the jar and here is what it looks like you guys this is so so pretty thank you so much for stopping by today i really again appreciate you stopping by if you made it this far please leave me a flower down in the comment box and if you like these longer kind of slow down videos please let me know i'm trying to figure out exactly what you guys like best so i'm kind of doing some different things so please let me know um your thoughts on that down in the comment box so here's um some of it styled with some other things i've recently made i'm just loving these soft 
pinks and creams and this shabby chic look um this is in my living room so i just think it makes everything look super cozy so now i have a little video that i made just to dedicate this um whole diy video to my mom so in loving memory of debbie and here is a picture of me and my mom when I saw her for the last time and then her having some fun. And yes, thanks guys. You can subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.